Hello, my name is Mitch. Thanks for joining me. I'm here to talk about digital journaling. Now, if you're like me, in the past you may have had, or maybe you still do, have one of these journals that you keep all of your stuff in and it gets start to get thick and it's going to break. And uh, anyway, for me, I was inconsistent with that type of journaling. And it was not really convenient because you don't carry that around with you. And frankly, it's not really shareable. Till about four years ago, I had been trying to do a journal. And I was sitting in a doctor's office and I downloaded a journaling app. And I started from that moment to do a journal. And since then, it has been an incredible and wonderful experience because my journal is now in my pocket and my phone all the time. And so I thought, well, let's share with how this works for me, how I do it, and maybe some of the tricks and some of the cool things. And hopefully you're inspired to say, hmm, I need to try this digital journaling stuff because it can benefit me. So I'm going to jump into my app. For these purposes today, I'm going to use an app called Day One. That's where I keep my primary journal. And so let's jump in. All right, I've got my app up. Some really cool things to note. When you do a digital journal, there are so many possibilities. And, and we're going to talk about a couple of different apps that you may explore or consider. And the ones that I share with you all have a free version and a paid version as well. So this, this particular one that I'm using is day one. And you can see on my screen here, I have an entry. It says, uh, on this day, there are eight entries. The cool thing about a digital journal is you have the capability of going back so easily and finding things searchable. You can search tags, you can search the content, you can say, oh, it's, it's, it's incredible. And sometimes people even like my wife will say, well, hey, when did, when did that happen? Let me check. It was probably in my journal. So I, I have a couple of journal entries here that I wanted to share with you just to show you how I actually do my digital journaling. In an app like this, you can, you can simply click on the plus button at the bottom and you can say, oh, I want to, um, oh, wow, here's my daily prompt. It says, have you ever performed on stage or given a speech? And I can answer that and that becomes my journal entry. Maybe this is what I'll do tonight. This will be my journal entry for today. But uh, I can share an audio on this particular app. I can do video. I can do pictures. I can do a, I can take a picture with my camera. I can even draw uh, on, on it. it. It's it's super, super cool. At any rate, let me show you a couple of journal entries here. So this is uh, an example of something really short. Uh, you know, why not? Apparently, I was not having the best day or it was just one of those days I needed an ice cream bar. So I did that, labeled it ice cream and a picture of me uh, eating an ice cream bar. Something like this. Uh, I, I look for important parts and aspects of my life to say, you know, what do I want to remember? And I'm not going to share with you the, the more personal type things that I would want to keep to myself or maybe share with my close friends and family. But, but this, for example, I love nectarines. We have this goofy nectarine tree that I almost yanked out years ago. It produces the absolute best nectarine I have ever had in my entire life. Something like this can be a short entry, a screenshot shot when we when we visited St. George, Utah, it was hot. So boom, that became the journal entry. All right. Um, awesome experience that I had hiking with my family. I took a video. This this app allowed me to put a video on here, um, do a little bit of text and, and take some pictures. Super awesome. Uh, the cool thing about digital journaling as well is you get timestamps. You also get, in this case, it was 79 degrees. You can see at the very bottom there, um, it was where it was, the Uinta Wasatch Cache National Forest, da, 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 da. all this wonderful information that you get. Uh, another thing, I, I like to, to say uh, food is my big thing. I love food. And this meal reminded me of my childhood. It was my mom. I was visiting her and she said, what do you want to eat? And this was the answer. And it was was an incredible experience. So that's what I wanted to remember for that day. Um, other things like when I was traveling in the airport and I tried to use my face recognition and it wouldn't work, my wife suggested, well, just change your facial recognition. And Apple said, no, your face is obstructed. Try removing anything that may be covering your face. So I thought that was kind of funny uh, that, that Apple said, no, no, you can't do this uh, because my face was covered. At, at any rate, you can see that that was in the Salt Lake International Airport. Um, I cleaned the garage. That was a monumental day in my life. Um, here's another picture of me getting ice cream. Um, yes, I snuck in to the garage with a spoon and had a couple of very large spoonfuls of ice cream. So there are uh, so many different things. Uh, also, fun thing about digital journaling is you can you can capture moments uh, with, a, with a picture and then come back and add it later. And, and uh, this, this is funny. The cat, we were getting ready to go on vacation and the cat decided this was going to be a good place to take a little take a little rest. Needed a new lawnmower. This was a big event in our lives. We got a brand new lawnmower. We had needed one for a while and I 
broke the old one. So here we are. Uh, this one, uh, this one's fun. My, my, my daughter drew a picture of my, my son and this was, this was so fun for us. And so I thought that that was really sweet. Uh, this one, she she made a my my daughter made this little kite uh, and and created a rule book for it. Tiny, you can see the little thumbnail pictures here. But the rules on a kite: don't break it, have fun, don't fall, don't be rude. The end. So so many cool things you can do with a digital journal. Um, the other fun thing about a digital journal is you have the ability to um, not only edit stuff, uh, but you can also share it. So if I wanted to do a shareable, I, I can copy it. I can view it as a PDF. I can create a little card like a meme that you can share with a picture and, and, and the text. Super awesome, super transferable if I wanted to move to another journal app. Um, so this... Is, is what I do and that's how I journal. So some posts are long, some posts are short, some posts are just a picture or a few words. Uh, I told you earlier, I was gonna let you know a couple of different um, options for journaling. So let's talk about a couple of different options for journaling digitally. When it comes to picking the right app or the right program to, to start your digital journaling, uh, there are a couple of options that I would recommend. All of the options that I talk about have a free version and a paid version. The one that I started with in the doctor's office four years ago, and I've used it a lot, is called Journey, uh, journey.cloud. Uh, fantastic program, works both on Apple and Android. Uh, another another one that you could could explore is called Momento, and that's an app that's it's it's only used for Apple, uh, but it'll it'll bring in like your Instagram feed and and put a timeline together. So if you're big into social media, Momento may be a good option for you. The one that I demonstrated today and the one that I use on a daily basis is Day One. Again, free version and a paid version. Once you get into this, you may decide to opt in for the paid version, but if not, that's totally cool as well. You could even send an email to yourself and keep it in a folder or archive it somewhere. There are so many ways to do a digital journal. And I would recommend that you just go in and download a couple of the free apps, try them out, see what you like, see what you don't like, pick the one that works for you and stick with it. Again, your journal entries don't have to be long. They can be fun. They can be short videos, pictures, whatever your app allows, whatever your appetite desires, and encourage you to keep a journal and share it. It's been the most fun to share my journal entries. Yay! Come here, son. This is what you were saying when you were, you know, two years old. This is what you looked like. This is what we did that day. It's been an awesome way to get my family involved, and it's really a fun pastime. So I encourage you to do some digital journaling and check out the other content here. Uh, thanks for joining me for a few minutes. Have a wonderful day.